Israel says it's being surgical in its strikes, but driving through the Palestinian territory, and it looks anything but. Major infrastructure and homes reduced to rubble in an instant. As the increasingly bloody conflict with Hamas moves into its second week, the death toll keeps rising. At least 200 Palestinians have been killed, including more than 60 children. In the southern Israeli town of Ashdod, this house took a direct hit from a Hamas rocket. This man says, it can't continue like this. We want to attack Gaza so that they are left without weapons to launch at us. Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system has intercepted the vast majority of the over 3,000 rockets fired by Hamas, but not all. Since fighting began, 10 Israelis, including two children, have been killed. The spark that lit the inferno that is this latest war in Gaza was here, in bitterly contested East Jerusalem, where the looming evictions of Palestinian families continues to provoke fury. Fury which erupted again over the weekend during what Palestinians call Nakba, or Catastrophe Day protests, marking the loss of Palestinian territory in 1948 for the creation of Israel. The looming evictions of eight Palestinian families by Jewish settlers has only inflamed tensions. Jad Hamid faces expulsion from the house his family has lived in since the 1950s. This is not the first time and not the second time. It's going to be the third time for us. Hamas is vowing to rain fire on Tel Aviv if Israel doesn't give up its bombing campaign of Gaza.